Question number four. A body loaded with rocks floats in a swimming pool and a man in the boat throws rocks overboard in water. The water level of the pool will alternatives rise, fall, not change, rise or fall depends on the volume of the rocks. When a body floats, so let us take the first case. If this is a boat, if it is filled with rocks, then whenever rocks floats on the water, it displaces water equal to weight of the rocks. So, weight of the rock is the equal to the water level change. So, so weight of the rock decides the water level change because now the displaced water is equal to the weight of the rock. So, okay. Now, in the second case, when the stones are overthrown, when the stone rocks are overthrown, it always sink to the bottom. So, rocks are sink to the bottom. When rocks are sink, they displace equal volume of water. So, in this case, let us say the weight is W of the rock inside this. It is equal to the weight of the volume of the water displaced. So, in the second case, it is depends upon the weight of the volume of the displaced. In the first case, it is dependent upon total weight. So, in this case, definitely W of rock is greater than W dash of rock in water. So, we can say, so in the first case, more water is displaced. In the second case, less water will be displaced. So, the, we can say the water level of the pool will fall. 